Hello everyone, welcome back. This time I think I figured to fix the auto problem with the last two videos. I actually turned down the in-game volume instead of the volume on the computer itself. So we'll see how that works. Well, you know, I can barely hear the volume of the game, but I don't really think it matters at this point. So if you haven't been watching, I actually found a couple of nice high items. Um, Drowsy's got a pink bow, which increases its pound attack. And also has got leftovers, which increase its um, HP if it loses any every turn by a small amount. It varies on how much HP they have. Alright, let's keep going. So we must get ourselves into this time. Last time we found a level 2 Suicune. Of course, not in the wild, so I can catch it, but, you know, it just happens. Okay, so he's got one Pokemon. I think normally it's a Hoo Hoo, I'm gonna see what it is this time. Vile Pokemon. Much bigger threat. Right. Okay, so there's. I'm not even gonna try to just pound it to death, because I got a feeling it's gonna have some strong moves. So he's gonna lower my evasion a little bit. Which isn't a huge issue, thank god. Okay, done with hypnosis. Use pound here and see how much it does. It should do a bit more damage with okay, so apparently it's uh third evolution and raised its defense quite high, so I won't have to take a few shots here and yeah, I'd say about three more shots. We'll probably wake up before then, but I don't think it's gonna be an issue. Let's get a critical hit at some point. Okay, so he's either going to wake up not at all, or he's going to wake up in the next turn. So he's still asleep, so we're good. Just going to keep using Pound here. And there goes Bone Vile Point. 235 experience, that's a lot. Saves Jin was defeated. My training is incomplete. I say it's pretty good considering you somehow got a level 6 Vile Point. On the next one. The Elder's HM lights even pitch black darkness. I think he has two Pokemon. Nope, one. What's it gonna be this time? Okay, so that's not too bad. I'm gonna go for hypnosis again just to make just be safe. And it hits. Really getting drowsy as my starters that you're paying off big time because just because of hypnosis. Basically makes the other opponent not able to do much. The only problem that we have um, with this generation is that yes, you can have old items, which means they can. I don't know what it's called in this. I know in the other games called Chester Bear, there's one that wakens you from sleep. And I have no idea what it's called here because they changed all the berry names that they're I think Gen 2. And that's the end of the hymn. It is my head that is bright. Eh, yeah, kind of. Okay, so I'm gonna switch up to what was now. Switch to what was now. This guy normally has a little tin hood, I think. Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. So he's got two mons. First one is Venusaur, which is top of county. That's not good. Thunderbolt won't do crap to it. And Venusaur is also a good defensive type, so let's see what Quick Attack does. Probably not. No more than I thought. He can use Growl. I'm gonna have to use a Miracle with him here, and hopefully he doesn't keep using Growl. So at that level, probably not only knows Growl. And then you see I just record a little HP with my left over, so left one's gonna be hard to take out. Especially early on. Fine left. Okay, so now we're rest it. So I'm recovering 2 HP per round. Should be alright. Attack. One more should do it. He missed. And I gained 2 more HP back. That's it. Alright, now there's one Pokemon left. He gives me 312 experience. Which knocks me up to level 11. And the last Pokemon is Spinarak. It's not too bad. Actually, it's kind of. 
looks like it's supposed to be like an area dose or something, but whatever. And now it does back to back full HP now. So let's use Thunder Punch. Done. Get another 81 experience. Save Troy was defeated. Yes, you trust your trust is real. Okay, I think after this I'm gonna go somewhere and I'm gonna um catch a third Pokemon. Just because of well maybe maybe not yet. You are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here is your HM. But let me say this, you should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. You claim to be the elder, but he's weak. It stands to reason. I never lose to a fool who battle about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. Um, I care about Pokemon and I whooped your ass. So, uh, oh, I probably should not swear on this channel, but then I whooped your ass. Just did it again. So he's gonna escape rope and get out of dodge. See what this item is. A Sneasel? Huh. Let's see, rock. It would help against ground types. Maybe I'm gonna catch it. But assuming I don't kill it in one shot. Um. I guess I'm gonna try to attack. that. Alright, we're good. I think I used Sneasel in my crystal playthrough, actually, but I don't care. I like Sneasel. Okay. Nice to have an ice type this early on. Okay. See if I can actually catch it, though, that's another thing. One, two... Nope. I'm gonna try to... I'm not gonna waste all my Pokeballs here, but... The good news is that he's never gonna defeat my Electabuzz, so I can probably just sit here and do this forever if I wanted to. Of course, I can't do that, because now I only have nine Pokeballs left to do this one. One, two, three... Nope. He is gonna be stubborn. Do this. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay, great balls. Okay, so he busted immediately out of that one. Um, what am I doing? I can put him to sleep. Damn it. That's my... Oh, ho, ho. Ouch. Well, what are you gonna do? Phoenix found Max Ether. That restores power points if I ever need to do that. I probably will never need to, but. Right, I'm gonna save right here just in case something goes bad. I don't think anything's going to. I mean, I think the worst we've had so far has been uh, Suicune level two, and that wasn't even a challenge. It's good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you, Pokemon, and your Pokemon and you. So I think he's got three Pokemon. I think two Bell Sprouts and a Hoop Hoop. But he's gonna change, obviously. So bring it, bring it on. Pichu. Hmm. I expect to see a Beeble for one, actually. Okay, so I'm gonna use Quick Attack here, and I should either kill it or come pretty close. Yeah. Kill it. I also with the Pichu to know very many moves. I kind of like to get like a, um, a fighting type at some point. Because Whitney's coming up and she's a biatch. Hit him on top. Damn, look at that animation. Alright, Thunder Punch. Not gonna be enough. Nope. Focus Energy. I think a generation one Focus Energy with bugs would actually lower the um, chance of you getting a critical hit. I don't know if they changed it in uh, Generation 2 or not. Alright, so Lithobuzz is now level 12, which means I'm probably going to bulldoze over, over the uh, gym leader, but... Quilava! <laughs> Ironic. So I'm going to switch out to Drowsy. And then my first move would be to put him to sleep. 
or use the save or something. Okay, so no smoke screen, that could be an issue, considering hypnosis only has 55% accuracy to begin with. And somehow I still hit it. I'm waiting for Drowsy to learn something else besides Pound. So it's gonna get... It's gonna get, uh... It's gonna stop having purpose here in a bit. I'm such a bad to let the buzz, because that, that's going to take way too long. Because I'll probably run out of power points on the way up there. Up to kill it. Pull up the buzz. Butter punch should do more damage. So we're going to get stabbed. So I think quick attack will finish it off now. So let's do that. Got him. He's got one Pokemon left. Okay, I guess I miscounted. Ah, excellent. Phoenix got 320 for winning, so it's from the mom. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM. Phoenix received HM05, so it's, that's not randomized either. I was trying to remember if it was. Phoenix put the HM05 in the TM pocket. Flash eliminates even the darkest of all places. But to use it out of battle, you need the badge from Violet City's gym. Okay, so, um, I could use an... No, I don't have any escape ropes. I was gonna say that that item in the corner is usually an escape rope you can use to get out of here, but I gotta walk out. Which is fine by me. I mean, maybe I'll find a Pokemon that's worth grabbing here. Maybe another Sneasel. Ghastly. That's weird, because usually Ghastly during the night is actually in this tower, so that's... That's something. So I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna run here. I don't have... I can't fight it with Drowsy anyway. Very relaxing music. What do we got this time? Another ghastly? Damn it. I guess I'm calling that. Female, level 3. And I'm going to choose run again. I'd like to catch Sneasel here, but I kind of, uh. I kind of want to catch something else that I haven't used in Crystal before. Example, Drowsy and Luckbuzz I've never used because I don't I don't know where you get Drowsy you get uh I think after the third badge. But I don't even know if you can get a wet buzz normally unless you go to the other region here, the uh I wanna say it's Kanto is the first region, and this is Johto, but God, I probably probably gonna just add the comments because I forgot the order they go in. Okay, so um I'm debating whether to grab a Pokemon first and challenge the gym. I probably should do that. Opener from the Violet's Pokemon gym is a fine trainer. He inherited his father's gym and has done a great job with it. Good to know. So, I don't think I'm allowed to go any further because there's a guy that blocks my way. That's Paralyzed Curberry. I'm gonna double check, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Shouldn't have too much problem with this junior. I think it's strong as a level 7 Pidgeotto. Or level 10, maybe? Level 11? I don't know. This guy will give you hints, and I'm just gonna read it real quick. Hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me, if you be believe, a champion dream can come true. If you believe, then listen. The grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep this in mind. See if you are good enough to face Falconer. I'm pretty sure I'm in, but you can try. Try to prove me wrong here. For Keeper Abe. I don't know anyone who names their kid Abe. Keep on. Huh. Wonder why that's in here. Isn't this a flying gym? Nah. How much is Red? 
Ooh, definitely want to put it to sleep. I hope Drowsy wants another move soon because this pound thing is nice, but good lord, does it take forever sometimes. Once. Yeah, see? This is what I'm talking about. I'm going to switch up to Electro Plus again. Drowsy lacks the actual power to be a physical attacker, so. Alright, so we'll put the new scratch again. The 6 and then we're for 2, so it's doing about 4 HP per turn. I think this should, if I kill this, it should level up, up Drowsy enough. Or give him experience to level up Drowsy. Yep, there it is. Level 12. What the be 90 experience points. Bird Keeper A was defeated. Okay. This can't be true. Uh, reality's a bitch. Alright, so we're going up here. Um, I'm gonna keep Drowsy in front. The keyword is guts. Those here are those here are training night and day to become a bird Pokemon master. Become bird Pokemon masters. Come on. Why do you have a guy with one aim on him? That makes no sense. Nah. Bird Keeper Rod wants to paddle. <clears throat> Sent out Gligar. That makes a bit more sense. Ground. Oh. Um. I can't use Thunder Punch on that. That is part ground. Things won't do anything. Poison Sting. I got hit had no stuff before he managed to poison me with that poison stone. I think Gwagar has a lot of defense too, so this pound might not work in this situation. Or might not do enough damage. Okay, so this is a similar situation that I was in before. Let me check something real quick. Okay, so Lithobuzz's attack power is 27. Drowsy's is... 19, so I can see where the issue is. Although, I don't think Wedge will be able to do much, even with quick attack. Most gonna work defense, but that's about it. So sleep. I'm gonna think I'm gonna take one turn and, uh, use a mirror real quick. Sleep. And then I'm fully recovered because of the leftovers. So let's go quick attack. So that's pretty good. Two more hits. Big attack. Also got a critical. Well, I almost did. Poison sting. Yep, there's the poison. So I'm gonna have to... Just to make sure I'm not gonna get overwhelmed, I'm better um, go back to the Pokemon Center after this uh, trainer and heal. I'm kind of overly cautious about Pokemon when I face a leader. Even if I'm ammo or a bit overpowered. Chinchow. Oh, duh. Why doesn't why does he have have a palm and all that? That's because he's they're all randomized. I, I you could tell I'm not used to this. This one's gonna be Chinchow, which is a water and electric type. Between Thunder Punch, I don't think we'll do anything. Or next to nothing. Let's see how much damage Drowsy can do with pound. I don't think Chinchow's very defensive. Alright, so we got these amount of damage there. So you use bubble. Which has a chance to lower my speed, which is probably going to do it because my luck sucks. Not yet. One. Okay, so one more hit, or two more hits should take it out. Might be all it knows because it's, it's low level. I'm talking about why. Oh, that's right, I might not even have a good thing against Gym Leader because his Pokemon randomized too. So it is a good idea that I go back and heal up. So that's the end of Hit Pim. I don't know how much it's great to get. 135, that's pretty good. Bird Keeper Rod was defeated. Yeah. I've never heard anyone make that exclamation before. Yeah. If you're wondering uh, why the screen is flashing white, that's the poison um, being a affecting what the buzz here, so I gotta create a Pokemon Center. Every time it flashes, it, gets, it takes 1 HP away. So, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Yes, please. One, two. Okay, so I have about ten and a half minutes left in the episode. So I should be able to beat Falconer or maybe move on to the next route before that happens. Unless he gets like a... With Mount Luke, he'll probably have a... Uh, he'll probably have a Luki or Ho-Ho because he's a flying type gym leader. So I'm actually going to save here like I did before. I am debating... I'm going to put Let the Buzz up front, actually, because I don't know what's going to happen, and... 
Brozzy might be uh, more of a hindrance than a help. Save it. I think it's the most amount of time I spent getting to, to this point. An hour and 18 minutes. I'm Falcon the Cloud. Pokemon Gym. Later. People say you can put flying put Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. It won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. That's not an insult, it's a fact. You can pretty much. Never mind. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. I'd be surprised if you had a bird Pokemon on you, or a flying type Pokemon on you, dude. Alright, let's see. I think he has three mons. Two mons, so it's two on two. That's the first one he throws out. It's Porygon 2. Interesting. I think Porygon 2 is more defensive, so I don't know how this is going to play out. Let's see what Thunder Punch does. Wow. One more than I thought, and it's Arrow Or Or it, because it doesn't have a gender. Version doesn't work. We'll close the tech finish Yep. Right, so that's one down, one to go. 270 experience because it's a second stage Pokemon. Okay, and his other Pokemon is Teddy Ursa. Huh. Two normal types. That's rather interesting. The fact that they're complete normal is interesting anyway. The damn thing is so cute. Right, so I'm going to switch out and I'm going to try to take it out with Drowsy. See how much pound does first. Okay, so um, I'm gonna risk it. I'm just gonna keep hitting him with pound. Hope that doesn't end up uh, messing me up too much. That was a critical. Might actually lose I'm drowsy here. So no leer and scratch. It's gonna be. Oh, he got two critical hits in a row. Damn it. Alright, so, I don't think this is going to be an issue as once I use Thunder Punch, but, damn it. Got two crow hits in a row, that's pretty, that could be pretty much BS, but. Alright, so that's the end of him. Am I going to enough to level up? Nope. Leader Falconer was defeated. Darn, my dad's chair is bird. Pokemon. No, it isn't. Alright, take this. It's the official Pokemon League Zeph Zephy Badge. I don't know why it's called a Zephy Badge. I think a Flying Badge or something would be more appropriate. Unless Zephy means something else in like another language, maybe in Japanese. Maybe we should look that up at some time. Zephy Badge raises the attack power of Pokemon. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it any time. Here, take this too. Interesting, the M31. Wait, is that the same one you get? Or is he, does he give you... Is he team up Pokemon well? Yeah, I know that. I'm just wondering if it's going to be months left like it normally is. I think it is because it came up, he said TM31 and it came up as TM31. Yeah, so I'm going to use, I think, Drowsy can learn Flash. Let me check. Oh, they both can, actually. You know what was going to strengthen when he teaches it Drowsy? And that gives Drowsy a fourth move. Oh, for those who don't know, a TM can only be used once, and an HM can be used many times, but you can't forget the move, unless under certain circumstances. Hello, Phoenix. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? With my luck, it probably be a or with my terrible luck, it probably won't be a legendary that hatches out of it, but, you know, I can always hope. Alright, so first I'm going to heal my, mon my Pokemon here. For waiting, your Pokemon are fully healed. We hope to see you again. And now here's him. He's gonna give me the egg, and he tells me he's gonna, he wants me to keep it with me. Or keep it with me. And it, it hasn't become increasingly obvious yet is that when you walk so far with the egg in your party, it hatches into a Pokemon. Usually it's a stage one Pokemon, but with the random monster, I'm not really sure. It might be Togepi. It might. It might. Uh. I'm not really sure. I think it may be different in Crystal, but I'll show you real quick. It was around inside something. It must be close to hatching. I think if you just keep it, if you don't mess with the egg, you don't purposely walk around with it, I think you hatch it by the time you get to Goldenrod City, which is um, the third uh, city that has the that Whitney I was talking about. So, um, I'm healed. I should be able to go out this way. Now, normally, the guy out here, I think if he'd go by me, he gives you a Miracle Seed. 
But I'm not sure what it gives you if it's randomized. It might be the same item, but I'm not entirely sure. Let me ask him. You have some good Pokemon there. It must be from the training you gave them around Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass. Okay, so I did get the Marigold Seed. That's a hold on that increased the power of a grass type moves. It's kind of useful, but since I have no grass type, it's kind of not at this point in time. Okay, so first encounter on a new route, let's see what it is. Smeargle. Interesting, actually. But I know how Smeargle works. What its moves what its move is. I almost said move set. And it's not that great. Is that all I'm going to find in here, Smeargle? Quillfish. I planned. That's funny, actually. My friend loves both this Pokemon for whatever reason. I think he likes Pufferfish. Weird guy. Anyway, let's talk to this guy and see what he has. I haven't seen you around before. So you think you are pretty tough? Well, yeah, I mean, I did beat the gym leader and came out here, so... He's got two Pokemon. Rio. Well, I, mean, I guess that constitutes a pretty strong Pokemon for you. Let me just pound here and see how much it does to do with Rio. I'm pretty good. To use Pest, how much does that do? Six. So if I just rely on pound here, I should be able to kill before it does anything. Critical hit. Which means I can now. Well, I might not be able to take it out. I can get out one more shot now because I use Growl. I'm going to switch out after this, though, because Growl's going to be. Drowsy Counter 2. Oh, so close. About to use Omni. So, yeah, it would be good to switch out so I can use Thunder Punch. So, I could see how he beats the gym leader. I mean, uh, well, what, hang on a sec. What do you have? Yeah, it's a normal type. So, yeah, I think this is, he actually would win against the gym leader considering that, uh, you know, Omni's a rock type and normal ones won't do too much to it. So, there's a super effective hit. Is that good enough to spray level up? Yes. I was supposed to go to level 14. It's a little anything. You're strong. Thank you. Okay, we got about three and a half minutes left in the episode. And Drowsy is a little under leveled, so let's keep going here. I keep forgetting to ask them for their phone numbers because you can recall them. I think it's the first person here. Lisa, I think. Uh-huh, yeah, and you know. Pardon? Battle? I'm on the phone. Oh, alright, but make it fast. That's like every kid since 2015. Just on their phone constantly. I mean, I am too, but I'm just saying. Okay, so he sent out a wheezing. Not very, a, not a very attractive Pokemon. A <laughs> female. Not very attractive Pokemon for a girl. But then again, what the hell do I know? Hound, that ain't gonna do anything. Smog. So once again, I'm going to rely on the the Buzz. I hate relying on one Pokemon, but there's not much you can do. I'm just going to use... Oh, oh, oh. Did that give me enough to kill the Buzz? Oh, nope, 4 HP. This guy's going to get 165 experience to level up to 13. But the Buzz gain another 165. And that's the end of the battle. I've got to relieve my anger. I was having a nice chat too. Oh, you're on a big journey to see sights? Neat. Let's be friends. Can I have your no, phone number? I want to hear about everything you've seen. Yeah, put this into your phone. It's called Phoenix's number. There is no numbers, it's just Phoenix's... It's just the thing that says Phoenix's number. Alright, so I think there's an item right here. How is... Um, do I have any potions? I think I have three. I'm gonna see what happens here. Phoenix found Dragon Fang. That powers up dragon type moves when held. Now, um I wasn't expecting to encounter that quick. Another quote fish. So I am like down to ten seconds here, so I think I'm going to actually end the video here and pick up where I left off some other time. So, this is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off.
have a good one, guys.